Hey guys, Dave here from Battery Dude, and I have a, one of my photon hoops with me. Just wanted to do a quick, um, very brief tutorial on how the hoops menu and controls work. I'm going to go ahead and start pressing it up, and that's going to take me up a bank. As you can see, the hoop has changed color, and another LED on my right has lit up. Those are your two indications as to which bank you're on. So as I press it up, it's going to keep changing colors. We're going to have more LEDs here. That's what it's going to look like as you move through the banks. So pressing it up will take you up a bank. Down will take you down a bank. Um, you can also move it to the left and right to move through the settings. So the LED here on my right is an indication as to which setting I'm on. And as I press the switch to the right, I'm going to move up through the settings. And I just hit select or an accident. That's how you enter a mode. So once you're on the bank and the setting you want, you can press select to enter, select to exit. Now you might have seen, I just bumped it there on accident, and we've heard people complain about this, accidentally bumping the switch while they're hooping. So we actually added a lock switch feature, which will keep the hoop from exiting a setting. And to use this, you're just going to hold the switch down for a few seconds. You'll see that red bar go across there. Now pressing select will not do anything. The hoop um, will stay in this setting. You can bump and twist the navigation switch all you want, and it's not going to do anything. The only way to exit a mode at this point will be to unlock the switch, which you can do by holding down. Green bar is going to appear there. Now I can exit the setting and return to the menu. The next thing I'm going to show you is the random demo and time demo settings. Um, I may have said before, each of the 15 complex pattern banks have 15 settings, sorry, 17 settings, 15 of which are different modes, and the last two being the random demo and time demo. Those are always going to be setting number 16 and setting number 17. So I'm going to go ahead and flip through the settings all the way to setting 16. Um, this is the random demo, and the way this basically works is it'll play through all the modes in the bank randomly for a random amount of time. I think between 10 and 40 seconds. Um, to enter, you just press select, and that's it. Works just like a normal setting, except it's going to demo all the settings in the bank. Um, the random demo and time demo banks work similar to the settings, except they're going to play through all the modes on the entire hoop. So I'm going to exit and move on to setting 17. This is the time demo. Um, select to enter. You'll see the hoop is going to turn off here, and you're going to have one LED lit up. This represents the amount of time each mode is going to play for. So you can choose the amount of time you want each mode to play by moving it to the right. Um, each LED representing five seconds. So right now I have two. It's going to play for 10 seconds each mode, three 15 seconds. 4, 20, etc, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 10 seconds, press select, and it's going to play through the modes in order for 10 seconds each. So we'll wait a few seconds so you can see a change. And there it goes. And now we're on a different setting. Um, one thing we did with the demo modes is we added a pause feature. So say it's going through a, a demo, you see a mode you like, you want to stop it and show your friend. You can pause the demo by holding up on the switch, and you're going to see it kind of blink red there. It'll now stay on this setting, and it won't continue until you unpause it, which can be done by holding up again. See it blink green there? It'll now continue playing through the modes. So that's the time demo. I'm going to go ahead and exit, and show you the custom bank. So the first thing you're going to want to know about the custom bank is how to save a mode to it. And saving a mode is really simple. First, you just find the mode you like, the mode you want to save, and you enter. And you're going to hold up on the switch. So it works the same way as the demo pause works, except instead of being in a demo mode, you're going to be in a single mode. And if you hold up for a few seconds, you'll see it blink blue. I'm going to exit and move to the very last bank on the hoop. That's the custom bank. And you can see there's one LED here, setting one, and that's the mode I saved. So you can save up to 30 settings in your uh, custom bank, and any setting on the hoop can be saved. 
And the custom bank also has a random demo and time demo that work just like the normal random and time demo I just showed you.